Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install just enough items in Minecraft 1.16.2. I know it says 1.15.2 here. I haven't updated this tutorial in a while, but here we are updating just enough items to Minecraft 1.16.2. I'm going to be covering it all in this video from where to get just enough items to how to download it, how to install it, and basically how to play it in game once you get just enough items installed. So we're going to be covering it all in this video. First and foremost though, we do have a much more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. You can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24 hour DNOS Protected in Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server in the best place possible, Apex Minecraft hosting is the way to go. So you got Apex the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get just enough items. But first, what is just enough items? Well, it is a mod that actually allows you to see other items in Minecraft and then click on those items and get their crafting recipes, add those crafting recipes directly into Minecraft and see modded items in Minecraft as well. So if you add a mod with just enough items installed at the same time, just enough items is actually going to show what's in that mod and how to craft it and all that stuff. That's why Just Enough Items is so powerful and why it's one of the more popular mods of all time because it works with other mods to show you what's in those other mods. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get it and do that. You wanna to go to the second link down below. That's gonna take you here. This is actually our tech tutorial for Just Enough Items. It's going to walk you kind of through everything, but we're going to be doing this in the video as well. We just have these text tutorials because, well, some people say I go a little too fast in these video tutorials, and because of that, um, we have these text tutorials for everybody. But nevertheless, once you're here, click on this yellow Download Just Enough Items button. That'll take you off to JEI, or Just Enough Items, on Curse Forge. And this is the official download page for Just Enough Items, where, again, you can see you can get the crafting recipes of these items in-game, right in-game, without having to look it up or anything. It's great. But nevertheless, what you want to do is come over here to the right hand side scroll down until we see minecraft 1.16 under that we'll see jei-1.16.2 and we click on the purple download button to the right of that and then go ahead and take us off and start downloading and all of that stuff and then eventually it will download in the bottom left in google chrome right there it is and in the center of your screen on mozilla firefox now whether you're on google chrome or mozilla firefox doesn't matter this is 100 percent safe to save you can just save it in the center of your screen on mozilla firefox and keep it in the bottom left on google chrome now we aren't done downloading just yet we still need to download forward Forge is needed in order to run just enough items. Basically, it's kind of needed in order to run any mod that's out there these days. But nevertheless, you need it to run just enough items as well. So to get Forge, you want to go to the third link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our in-depth Forge tutorial for 1.16.2. But we're going to be going over the basics in this video. But if you do have any more in-depth issues, Forge isn't working for you or something like that, this tutorial will help you out. But nevertheless, once you're here, click on this green Download Forge button. And that will go ahead and take us off to Forge's official website, where we want to make sure we have the 1.16.2 version of Forge selected. As you can see here, we don't. It says NC 1.15, and that's not what we're wanting we want 1.16.2 so to do that go ahead and click on the plus 1.16 button on the left hand side click on 1.16.2 under that and then you'll see mc 1.16.2 proudly displayed here kind of in the center of the screen on Forge's website. Then you want to come under download latest and click on the installer button. Now when you click on this installer button don't freak out it's going to take you to add focus. Your download's not ready. Do not click on that blue download button. Don't click on any download buttons. Again do not click on any download buttons. The only button you want to click on this entire page is the red skip button in the top right. That's the only thing you want to click. Click that red skip button in the top right and then in the bottom left you will see Forge appear. And as long as it says Forge in the title you can click keep and if you're on Mozilla Firefox it'll pop in the center of your screen where you'll need to save it. But if it does not say Forge in the title, just discard it, cancel the download, whatever you need to do there, and then click that red skip button in the top right, and it will work, and it will be Forge. Again, the only thing that you want to click on this page is the red skip button. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And here on our desktop, we have just enough items, and we have Forge. If these aren't on your desktop, no worries. They're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen. Probably in the bottom left of your screen, though. Click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. Once you click on that, go ahead and type in Downloads, right like so. You'll have this Downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that, and then go ahead and find just enough items in Forge in here. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, once these are on your desktop, we're actually going to be starting off with Forge. However, if these files don't look like this, no worries. I'm going to show you how to fix that later on, but we're going to be starting 
starting with Forge. Go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, and if you have Java here, click on it and click OK. But what if you don't have Java, or what if these folder or these files don't look the same as mine? They don't look like these Java logos. Well, in that case, you need to download this. This is how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. It's helped over a million people get Java installed and set up for their Minecraft mods, basically making Java work and getting the correct version of Java, Java 8, that Minecraft needs. Then you need to run the jar fix if you're still having issues. Most of the time, after you install the like Java, right after you install Java, you'll be able to open up Forge without a problem. However, sometimes you can't, and if that's the case, you need to run the jar fix. And what this is going to do is take all the dot jar files on your computer and link them to Java once again. If your jar files don't look like my jar files, right, they don't look like these Java logos, you need to run the jar fix to be able to fix that. But nevertheless, finally, after you've installed Java and ran the jar fix if you need to, you can right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. It's then going to go through and open up the mod system installer for Forge, where we just want to click on Install Client and click OK. It's then going to go through, download some things, do some stuff, and get Forge set up in Minecraft. Now, the only reason this won't work, the only reason it could fail, is because you haven't played Minecraft 1.16.2 without any mods. You have to go play 1.16.2 without any mods. You don't have to create a world. You just have to get to the main menu. Then you can close out of it, and Forge will install successfully if it doesn't automatically, but it probably will. Nevertheless, as you can see, once it's successfully installed, it will say successfully installed Client Profile Forge version 1.16.2 yada yada awesome we can go ahead and click ok had to close out of that and it's time to get just enough items installed to do that you want to open up the minecraft launcher here now before you slap the play button you need to make sure you've got the correct profile selected now most likely it'll say something like this it'll say latest release or something along those lines you can click this little arrow to the left of the play button and then click on forge now as long as it says 1.16.2 dash forge under it you can click play but if it doesn't say that or if you don't have forge like if it says 1.15 or if you just don't have forge at all what do you do well pretty simple just come up here to the installations tab click on the plus new button and then you can name this whatever you want i'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com why am i naming that because that is our incredible minecraft 1.16.2 server we've got grief protected survival with medieval survival having 30 custom quests and a player based economy and aquatic survival having an awesome slash shop based economy and incredible community we've also got amazing 1.8 factions with small team-based factions 10 players custom enchantments it's a ton of fun over there and then we also have custom skyblock which is receiving a huge update very very soon but currently there are op enchantments 1.8 pvp custom islands fence generators and so much more so come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com you will absolutely love it we're actually going to be testing just enough items on there just here in a minute but nevertheless once you got your name entered there we want to click on this version drop down box now in here you want to find release 1.16.2 dash forge mine's right up here at the top if you have multiple ones just click the one closest to the top but mine's right up here at the top so we can go ahead and click on that yours may be down a ways you might have to scroll down to find it or it could even be at the very very bottom of your versions list but mine is right up here at the top so we can click on it there I'm going to change my resolution. You don't need to do that, but we're making a video and we want you to be able to see on game. So we have to change our resolution. Then we can click the green create button in the bottom right. Now we have this play.breakdowncraft.com profile down here at the very, very bottom. It says 1.16.2 dash forge on it. So we can go ahead, hover over it and click the green play button. And now Minecraft will open. Once we are on the Minecraft main menu, installing Installing just enough items from this point is very, very easy. However, I do see I have some leftover mods here from a previous tutorial. My bad. <laughs> I was not prepped for this. So let me go ahead and after this is open, we'll get to the main menu and then I'm going to restart Minecraft, deleting those mods, and then we'll install just enough items. Go ahead and do all that once we're in the main menu and we'll be good to go. I'm just wanting the main menu load up so you know I'm not doing any trickery or anything like that here. I will even show you what mods are installed. I, I, people like to say, this. I've, I've seen people say, I think this guy fakes tutorials. We don't fake tutorials. I don't get it. Anyway, mods, we actually do have just enough items already installed, but we're going to delete it here. And you'll see the mods tab is clear after a quick jump cut. So here we go, back on the Minecraft main menu, we can click on mods, this time the mod tab is empty. So to install just enough items, what you want to do is click on this mods tab here, and then in the bottom left, you'll have open mods folder. Click on the open mods folder button, and then we can take just enough items from our desktop and drag and drop it into this mods folder. Now we come back after dragging the just enough items mod into the mods folder to Minecraft, it won't be there. And it's never going to show up. It's never going to show up until we click done. And then we quit the game, right? Then we open up the Minecraft launcher again. This time, you don't have to worry about creating a profile or anything, though. No. Click on the little arrow next to the play button. Select either Forge or the profile you created. And then click play. And then it will open up Minecraft with just enough items installed. You'll actually be able to see it right here. It is just enough items. JEI 1.16.2. Boom. That's basically saying the mod's there. It recognizes it. It doesn't mean it's necessarily going to work, but it's going to work. Because we have tested it and all that stuff. Like, it's going to work. But nevertheless, that is... So we the mod's recognized. It's currently constructing and setting up and adding everything in for the mod at this point. And then we'll get it. We will 
Minecraft with just enough items installed. So, loading onto the main menu here. Da -da -da -da. I feel like, you know, it takes it takes a while to load up Minecraft these days. I remember, I feel like it used to be faster. Anyway, let's click on mods here, and we do have just enough items there. Boom, showing that it did work. You can also click on multiplayer, jump into the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play it on breakdowncraft.com, and we'll be able to see here that we do have, if we hit E, all of the just enough item stuff. Boom, boom, boom. All of it is in here. We can click over. How do we craft a hopper? That is how. You can also, if you're in a crafting table, you can click the plus there, and it will go ahead and craft it. Uh, and add all the ingredients, if you have them on you, into the crafting table. It will also add any, everything you have, and the ingredients you don't have will be clearly displayed there, because they just won't be present in the crafting table. So, awesome stuff there. Really, really, really cool mod. We absolutely love this mod. It is a must-have if you are, you know, using a bunch of mods together, running a mod pack, creating a mod pack, any of that. It is a must-have for any of it. But nevertheless, that is how you can download and install just enough items in Minecraft 1.16.2. If you don't have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. There we go. Boom. Play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. This is our aquatic survival server here. There are 167 players online on a random, random Thursday. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I can't wait to see you online. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.